So when I find uh, all the addresses, all the hosts in the network, uh, for example, if I have this big network, uh, let me draw it again. I'm going to draw it like a cake. If this is my network, okay, uh, the network address starts from here. This is my network address. And imagine that we have all these IP addresses here on this network, okay? You have 16 million addresses here, correct? This address cannot be used because this address is your network address. Now, there is another address in the network, which is the last address. So you see that here in this network, I've got first address and I've got last address. The first address I told you is the address of the whole network, like area code. You cannot use it. We have another address which is the last address in every network. That last address is called a uh, broadcast address. Here it is. Let's say I want to find the broadcast address in my network. What is broadcast address? That is the last address. So what does that mean? What do, why do we say broadcast? That is an address that if you send a packet to that address, everyone in that area, in that network, will receive that packet. So that's why I call it broadcast. Now, how to find the broadcast address in the network? That one is also pretty easy. To find out your broadcast address, first, find out the number of host bits that you have. To find out the number of host bits, you have to look at, look at your subnet mask. Here is my subnet mask in binary version. Number of zeros in the subnet mask represents the number of host bits that I have. Okay, here are the number of zeros, 16 zeros. So number of host bits in this network is 16, right? So first we find the number of host bits. Then after that, we look at the network address that we have. Here is my network address. Just now I calculated by ending an IP address and subnet mask. So you look at your network address, then count this much of zeros, meaning according to number of host bits from right side. Count this much of zeros, and then convert them to ones. So here we count 16 zeros. Here are eight and here are eight. So up to this part. Up to this part, I have to convert these numbers to ones. So let me do that. We, I copy this one and I paste it, okay. Paste it here. Okay, I have to count 16 zeros. Here are 8 and here are 8 up to this part. I convert them to 1s. So I do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here are 16 zeros. I convert them to 1s. So I repeat this again. You find out the number of host bits that you have by looking at the subnet mask and counting the number of zeros. Then you look at this network address. You count this much of zeros in network address from the right side and convert it to ones. And then you write the rest as it is. So here I wrote the rest as it is. Now if I convert this number to binary, I will get 100, uh, two decimal, sorry. 150.100.255.255. Now, this is my broadcast address. This address is the address that if someone sends a packet to that, everyone in that network will receive it. So, if you look at this circle, the first address is the network address. I cannot use it. The last address is a broadcast address. I cannot use it because if you assign this address to a net to a computer, then if someone sends a packet to that address, everyone in the network will receive it. So you cannot send a, a private a private message or private packet to that computer. So I don't use these addresses. So what is exactly the first valid address that I can use and the last one? 
uh, of course it's so obvious the first valid address is exactly the first address after network address and the last valid address is the address exactly before the broadcast address so here is my network address and here is my broadcast address if I want to find out what is my uh, first address I just have to add one to this address so when I add one to that plus one this one becomes one so when this one becomes one the first valid IP address will be 150.100.0.1 just I added one to that so this is my first first valid address what is your last valid address that is easy sorry just deduct one from your broadcast address now if I deduct one from the broadcast address this last one becomes zero so last valid valid IP address will be 150.100.255.254 one deducted from this address so the fa first valid address IP address that you can assign to a computer is 150.100.0.1 and the last valid address that you can assign to a computer is 150.100.255.254 so these are the range of addresses that you can use now it's time to go back and modify our formula remember I told you that this is the uh, way that you can find out the number of hosts that you have 2 to the power of number of host bits now uh, and here 2 to the power of number of host bits uh, larger than if you don't if you don't have this part use this formula if you don't have this part you use this formula now now I know that two of the addresses that I can find from this formula are not used network address and broadcast address so I have to modify my formula to this one two of the addresses cannot be used so 2 to the power of number of host bits minus 2 this 2 is not in the power is in the base will give you the number of hosts meaning the number of IP addresses that you can assign to a uh, computer or any uh, device that you want to be on the network and 2 to the power of number of host bits minus 2 larger e or equal to number of hosts is when you want to find out the number of host bits so these are the right formula that you can use for host bits from now on you have to use these formulas so that's all about uh, IP addressing and subnetting uh, sorry uh, IP addressing and uh, subnet mask and find out the appropriate subnet mask and all this stuff now if I look at the previous example that I uh, showed you there I gave you this question now what is the appropriate subnet mask for a network with 400 hosts and there I used this formula 2 to the power of number of host bits should be larger than number of hosts I didn't put minus 2 now I'm gonna modify it here is minus 2 that I have to use so 2 to the power of number of host bits minus 2 should be larger or equal to 400 if I use 9 I will get 512 minus 2 meaning 510 addresses which is larger than 400 so it can cover my 400 so number of host bits is 9 number of zeros in subnet mask becomes 9 therefore your subnet mask becomes this now if you look at this subnet mask and the previous one that we've uh, calculated you won't see that much of differences but the difference come when you get a question like this they have 512 hosts in the network and you want to assign appropriate subnet mask to them to cover this much of hosts now if you don't use this minus 2 your result will be here 2 to the power of 9 which is 512 and is equal to 512 
So your subnet mask will be 255.255.254.0. But if I use the correct formula, I'll get 10 here. And the result will be number of host bits 10, meaning number of zeros in the subnet mask is 10. And here is your correct subnet mask. So that is how you can find out the, num the correct number of hosts in the network and the number of subnets in the network by uh, uh, looking at the number of subnet bits and number of host bits.